Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack. Welcome back to Yakuza. Last time we did uh, Aya and Hiromi. This time we're doing Irena and Yuzu. I think I read that correctly. Welcome. So we're going to meet up with Irena. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh, you look so dressed up today. So she likes the pimp bracelet quite a bit. Uh, she gives you a full heart. Bam. So we're gonna hit her with that white champagne. Let's go. Let's go. White champagne. Are you serious? Not just for you, girl. It's for me. Bitch. Uh, I got you. I got you a gift. Hell yeah, I got you a gift. My gift for you uh, is going to be uh, French perfume. Are you serious? <laughs> that is what you like. All right, so now we're gonna be starting with the questions. Uh, do you want to eat? Uh, yeah, assortment of foods. So like, as you can see, uh, just coming prepared for a little bit, you get four and a half stars. Uh, French perfume you can get at Epic Pons too, I think. Something about at least 30, uh, 30 years old. Um, mean like me? Yeah, Kaz is like 30, by the way. Maybe, hmm. Hey, you're making it sound like I'm confessing to someone. Yeah, right? Shit. Someday I want to open a manicure shop, so I'm saving my money. Well, you got four options here. Uh, good luck. <laughs> All right. We're gonna do the first one. This job's okay. Uh, things I want to do, it's fun to have a dream, you know? Only well, then you're a special little girl. Pet you on the head. Pet you on the head. And that's it, that was a neutral one. Uh, sir, your time's up. What the fuck? I just got here. That's seven hearts, though. I just got here with seven hearts, that's fair. When I date someone, it usually doesn't last very long. Uh, I try too hard, end up wearing myself out. Uh, date someone you can be yourself around. Duh. That means you're fickle, right? Oh my god, Kaz. Oh, that was a neutral answer. That wasn't even the right one. So, how about it? What would you like to drink? Oh, yeah, we're going to be needing a, another white champagne. White champagne. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm getting hammered tonight. Let's go. Two bottles. Let's go. What do you want to eat? Uh, fruits. That's all I eat. I only, I only eat fruits yeah. and champagne. I make other guys just feel champagne, but the sham is silent. <laughs> uh, I wasn't, I, I didn't read that one. It's the bottom one, whatever that was, the one with the dot, 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 dots. All right, so I'm into perfume lately. I could tell I gave you some French one. Oh, wait, yeah, that's the answer. You like you French serious? perfume, yeah. Yeah, see, see, knowledge. Another one. Oh, it's the city of glamour? Which doesn't make sense to me. It's a city of love, exactly. right? Paris? New York is a city of fashion. That to me is <laughs> glamour. That's a that's how um I always interpreted New York oh. and Paris. Paris, city of love. New York, city of fashion. The big apple you know, New York, concrete jungles where dreams are made of. That kind of thing? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So after a little while, uh, once we leave Arena around, she's going to text us. I just happen to get one around Theater Avenue. And we're going to stop. Oh, oh, that's right. No, she tells us to meet us in front of uh, Irena, in front of Theater Square. That's right. And then we, we bump into this guy. He's like, I've been protecting her for a long time. Yeah, so like you was hanging around her really pissing me off. Don't you ever get near her again. And she he runs away. And then Arena shows up. And she told us about like a, a stalker guy, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Like an older dude. And he walks back up. He's like... Hey, 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 Yayoi, didn't I just tell you to stay away from Arena? Uh, oh, oh, Yayoi is, uh, what Arena said. And he's like, yeah, this is the guy that's been stalking me since Tokyo. The one I had talked to you about? Oh, yeah, yeah, this guy. Want me to kick his ass for you? And Yayoi's like, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm like, sir, you don't know who I am. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kazuma. They call me the Dragon of Dojima. And, uh, I don't know if you know this, but I spent 10 years in the prison. Killing a man? Don't run like a little bitch. Don't run like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. And haymaker. Oh, oh, that didn't do that. And haymaker. All right, that takes care of Yaoi. Asshole, I'll never let you take my Arena Chan away from me. And it's, bro, I just ticked her. Like, I don't. What do you want from me, man? 
what did you want from me? And she's like, oh, this guy right here, he's my fiance. And then he's like, oh, no, I can't fuck with you no more because you're married. And Yakuza asshole. If you ever make it in a try, cry, I'll make, I'll give you hell to pay. I'm like, sir, I don't. I, I don't understand you, man. I, I kicked your ass. Stop. He's like, I was wearing chainmail. <laughs> oh, okay. Yo, I punched the guy with chainmail. Didn't even fucking phase me. Damn, Cosmo's great. I can't wait to play the later games in the series for y'all. I love the series. I'm really excited for Yakuza 2. Whenever I get around to playing that, I've never played Yakuza 2. So, uh, hearing that's going to be like the best one, I can't really, I can't wait. So the chainmail is the same thing as the uh, bulletproof vest. The only difference is is that the chainmail is better against, I think, melee attacks. Like it reduces physical uh, hits. So it's worth keeping around until you get the best armor in the game that I think I found. It's called the dragon, uh, dragon belt or some shit. Uh, so Elena's gonna text us. She's like, "Thanks for before." <laughs> Meet me at the the batting cages near the theater square. So we're gonna meet her at the batting cages near theater square. <laughs> and there she is. <laughs> Looks from her. And she's like, "Yo, where to? Where are we going?" And she's like, "Ah, oh, you know, I need a little rest. So uh, why don't you follow me?" Okay. Wow, pink screen. All right, that was easy. Boom, three thousand exp. And then she's gonna text us again. And we're at. Ends arena. He's like, thanks for the hot night. I love you. Boom. Bada bing. Gonzo Garbanzo. Back to shine. Uh, now we're going to talk to Yuzu, if I'm not mistaken. Is the last person. Yuzu. Yeah. Glad I can read relatively quickly. So this is Yuzu. How are you today? Nice to meet you. Thanks for choosing me. That's how she sounds in my head. I don't know why she sounds like that in my head. <laughs> and I was like, wow, you dressed up so nice today. And this is her other, her like bubbly choosing. personality. She Yuzu. only likes it uh, half heart, uh, the pimp bracelet. What do you think? It's like, yo, what do you want to drink? And I'm like, yo, uh, white champagne. Is that for okay. Right champagne. Should a guy named Yayoi? Uh, some, some champagne, minus the sh Oh, he said this joke already. Right. Fuck, that's what happens when I walk away for a little bit. So she prefers cav uh, caviar skin bags. That's her thing. Um, I think you can get that in a locker, too, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. That or I bought one. I don't, I don't remember where I got it. Uh, you probably buy it at Abisupan, if anything. Or at um, Don Quixote. But I think it's I think it's Abisupan that has it. She's like, no, step and work at this hostess bar. I've been having lots of fun. Oh, that's good for you. I mean, just that, what do you look for? Um, you know, a challenge, even if it pays bad. I don't know, something that stimulates me, keeps me entertained throughout the day is good. Right, right. I thought so. You know, even if the pay's good, the job sucks. It's hard to make it up through the day, you know? Well, yeah, I hear you on that. My job sucks. But I get paid. You know okay. Could be, could be better. Uh, so what did you get at? I think so. Uh, the girl cooked you a meal and it didn't taste good. What would you do? Uh, I'd eat the fuck out of it and then tell her that it wasn't good. Hello. You know? Boom, boom. I'm not hungry no more. And I'll tell you to get better at whatever it is that you're doing. Even if it's like something that you're not passionate about. Like, it's whatever. If I can help you in some way, I'm going to try. That's that's all Cosmo speaking. Me, on the other hand, I would eat it and then it's not say anything. Uh, that was a yes, whatever that answer was. I, I didn't read it. Well, is that so? So you're still a student. What? Does that bother you, Kazuma? Kazuma san What are you, like, fucking 22? Bingo. 22? Yeah, ah, oh, bet. Look at that. Shit, I am the best. Cosmo san is the best. <laughs> Chazma san you're such an honest person, Kazuma, hey. so why don't we take a trip? What, you don't think I'm joking? I'm just gonna call someone else. Okay, only if you're How is that neutral? You seem like you really didn't so. enjoy that that question. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna drink some more white champagne. Champagne. And uh, pop into them mm. seven hearts. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yo, some more fruit. <laughs> hey, yo, seven half stars. We got this shit. Only two more and a half, so what happened? Yeah, so then I thought, you know, when you call a guy for the first time, you're always gonna do some shit. That's why text messages are nice. Yeah, but like, texts are so impersonal, you know? This really? is how I feel. 
Ah, that's... Just like, oh, what about emoticons? Yeah, fuck emoticons, yo! It's all about them beeps and whoops, yo. <laughs> Beep whoops. Anyway, uh, I always fought for those kinds of guys, you know? You're just the ones so that are players, and it was the first question, whatever that one was, I didn't read it. He's like, wow, what's honesty is the band's best quality? And it's like, I never told a lie in my <laughs> life. <laughs> so fucking lie. <laughs> Do you want some more time? Like, no, nah, I was just leaving. Leaving here with my eight hearts, which means I have to do another quick round with Hiro. Uh, not Hiromi. That Yuzu. Hiromi. So I, I stopped recording for a day. Mid video. All of a sudden, I'm thinking of it's the beginning of the Vigia again. Beginning of the Vigia again. I swear to God. Mm. Oh, not gold. Oh, no, 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 no. Girl, no, 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 no. Fuck, I don't mean to keep. Alright, I guess we're drinking gold. Shit. It can't happen twice in a row by accident. He's spamming the fucking next button. Uh, you know, white champagne. Uh, yeah, girl, white champagne. Let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ten. Let's go. No gift. I ain't got no gift for you no more. Yuzu. Uh, I don't really need to eat fruit. You know what? I think I bought fruit just out of habit. I didn't really need to do that. You serious? Yeah, I'm sure, sure it is. But you're all nicer than you look. I bet you're, you'd be a great father. I know, I'm probably really strict. Oh, would you? You had a girl, you'd be strict on her, I bet. I mean, I'd ride a tight ship to keep her safe. God damn, Cosmo. God damn, Chad's a motherfucker. Strict motherfucker, you. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to play six. <laughs> well, I haven't played six yet. I'm curious on how that one goes. So what do you think my blood type is? I'm thinking you're a vigorous bee. That's a weird way of putting that, but okay. Vigorous. That's a word I don't I don't hear often. Vigorous. She's a uh, very vigorous. Oh, time sure does fly when you're having fun. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna dip out now. Uh, my bill is mad more expensive than it needs to be, but fuck it. They still have over a million bucks anyway, so I'm good. So eventually she texts you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pop open that uh, text message. Shoot me up twice, apparently all one shot. Uh, you know, go to Shine. There's a casino over there. She's, we're gonna meet her at the casino. Um, near Ibi not ABC Punks in uh, Kyushu, right here. That's where I was heading. Funny enough. And, oh wait, was that a key? Did I see that? Hey. Hey! Look at that! Look at that! Key number twenty-two. Hey! Bet. <laughs> all right, all right. We're gonna head down the stairs. And down the stairs, we're gonna meet up with Yuzu. I believe we need. Uh, no, I also said lucky charm. Oh, was it lucky beads again? I think. Ugh, excuse me. Sorry, I don't mean to keep you on it. Jesus fuck. I, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I'm not even that tired. Despite me falling asleep at my desk 20 minutes ago. Don't ask Don't ask why I keep doing that. You know, it's work. I swear it's just work. I'm just tired of work. I didn't even do anything. I was cashier all day. I was just standing still. I did literally nothing all day. I'm tired. Hey, anyway, we're gonna give Yuzu $200,000 because I can. I'm, I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. A million yen. Let go. Uh, I'm not even reading the fucking text at this point. So she's gonna give me the Teshua uh, Sai, uh, which is fucking lit. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, put back my old sword. And the Teshua Sai is a very expensive sword. Now, if I remember correctly, it's worth seven hundred fifty thousand dollars uh, yen. So your two hundred thousand means absolutely nothing. You you literally just made five hundred grand uh, profit, and you got to sell it to a weapon specialist. So. I believe now is where we go to sell. I mean, you can use it if you want, but what's the point on that? I mean, I mean, my dude. Uh, I said, I'm at the big screen in front of the theater square. Okay, well, we're, well, we're gonna head over there event eventually. But real quick, we're gonna open up locker number 22 because I didn't see what that was. It's a player piece, all right, that could be useful, but um, we're gonna send that straight to the item box. And here's Yuzu. And she's like, ah, you know, let's fucking, uh, let's meet up. All right, cool. Bang, bang, son. <laughs> gang, gang. 
Chasma. And that is the last Caparico mission that we need to do. Or uh, Well, we don't really need to do them, but we can do them. Optional. But I did them. Because I could. Because I'm a Chasma. I feel like that's the last time we're going to hear of Chasma. <laughs> For a minute. And just like that, we leveled up our HP to full. We're maxed out stats, which means we can go back to Kamaki and learn his final technique, the Ukunegoshi. Definitely not pronouncing that correctly. Anyway, we're going to grab another text message right around here. Yeah, there we go. And again, it's from Yuzu. It's just a headshot. She's like, oh, I love you. Bye. Uh -huh. Thank you, so. And that's it. That's all you need to know. No, I'm fucking annoying. Anyway, back to Kamaki. Or not. No, yeah, yeah back to Kamaki. Yeah, yeah, I was right. Because I think I go to the weapon specialist uh, at the video store. You know, the guy who, like, gives you the secret, secret hidden detail words. Yeah. Secret words. I don't even remember. That. Was it bondage something? Something? I don't fucking remember. Can't, I can't remember. It's been, it's been a while. It's been too long. Been, been half a minute. Alright, Sitaro Kamaki, it's about the time to get funky. Uh. Get funky. The song is bop, yeah. I like the songs with the sirens in it, which is like four of them. Alright, so, uh, so much like the parry, much like the counter, the Ukunagashi is, um, is a counter, except instead of pressing triangle to counter or L1 to block, press circle, and it's a axe handle to the back and a knee to the ribs. And it doesn't do the most damage, but it stuns Kamaki. And that's what you really want when you want to fight. You want to, you want to stun him with the Ukunagashi and then just beat the shit out of him. That's it. And honestly, the timing isn't that hard either. Um, I, he's a little. He does his punches slow here, but in his fight, he's actually much faster. Uh, again, I didn't beat Kamaki. Let me know. Off the bat, let me know. I never beat Kamaki. Uh, I do show up the Coliseum. And um, off screen right now, just like for fun, I'm collecting all the cop keys. Maybe we're gonna do all the 72 missions just to see what what I can get. I don't think I'm going to be showing that off anytime soon, uh, but that'd be cool. Not like I'm not recording anything; I'm just playing on my own time. But uh, yeah, so training is complete. We're at 100% special moves. Uh, it it's, would be nearly impossible for any one of us to defeat you, except Kamaki. Kamaki is the only person. And uh, yeah, you should visit me once every everything with the Tojo Clan has been resolved. Oh, you might want to bring a bottle of sake with you. Good luck. Why oh, have a bottle of sake with me? I wonder what happens if I actually do that. What if I beat the game and then come back? So over here, there is a uh, video store called Beam. And there's a key in here somewhere. Yep, right there. So there's something on the ground. Pick up the locker key? Yes. Oh, key number 31. Bam. So we're going to walk over here. We're going to talk to this guy. And if something in particular is like almost illegal. Uh, tied up, house five, some shit, bullshit. And he's gonna open up this secret hidden room door behind the book bookcase. And just like that, we have a room filled with AKs and swords. <laughs> swords and guns. Guns and swords. This guy's a black market dealer. Uh, he gives you a little memo. I didn't read it. <laughs> and I'm going to sell you the uh, the, the Tenshuai, uh, which is the Tesuhai, tes sorry, which is 750,000 fucking yen. Like I said, you make 500 yen profit off of that one mission. And uh, just like that, I'm nearly back up to 2 million. Um, it's great. So what can I do with you? I'm going to talk to you. Oh, what do you want to know? Well, uh, you have extensive knowledge on weapons. And he's going to teach you how to do some weapons that you can uh, learn about. It. Like weapons that you can buy off him. So he's like, there are 16 types of weapons. Um, you find like an iron plate or whatever. Uh, those can like shield you. Oh, these are like special weapons. But if you talk to him, he will mention there are 16 types of weapons. Uh, you got throwing weapons. You got spears. You got swords. 
big weapons, small weapons, whatever, blackjacks, one hand weapons. And each one has a variation on the heat action that you can use, um, which is neat. Uh, you can even like kick certain items around and depending on the item, it could do massive damage or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Like he, he tells you little hints on what you can do with random weapons that you find. Um, you can even ask him like a philosophical question be like, what is a weapon? Am I a weapon? Are you a weapon? Oh, just ordinary items weapons. So you, you can ask him whatever the fuck you want. It's great. Uh, and it's really funny when you pick that answer, he's going to be like, well, what is this? A fucking philosophy course? Some shit. I think it's great. It's good. <laughs> So anything else you want to know? Yeah, what the fuck's a weapon? Is this some kind of philosophical question? Oh, all right. A weapon could be even something you pick up off the ground. You must know about this already, though. Uh, I usually put weapons in 50. Oh, sorry. I have to say 16. I meant 15. 15 categories, and it's you don't remember them. Some interesting weapons. What do you want to know? And whatever. And you can even, he'll even tell you like what the 15 categories are at one point, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's cool. And we can check out what he has. He has a tonfa, a tactical baton, survival knife, a blackjack. Uh, stun gun, brass knuckles, a mace, <laughs> Chinese sword, a lightning bomb, a handmade pistol, the uh, the 9/11, the, the 9/11, the 9 millimeter <laughs> shotgun, bulletproof vest, bulletproof shield. Look at that. Um, yeah, I think the shotgun's probably like the best gun. It does like the most damage, but I don't really buy the shotgun all too often in this game, at least. They're they're more useful later on when you have to like in later game installments of the game. And we picked up a key. And this is gonna be the last thing we do here. Uh, so key number 31 holds a Stamnin Royale. And just like that, guys, I'll see y'all in part 26. Peace.